How you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Shoes Campers of Southern California out of the city of industry. And today I'm gonna do a walkthrough tour of our patron. So let's get into this, let's get going. So where I like to start with all of my walkthroughs is the very front. And so if we come around here on the front of the patron, the rock guard that we utilize is actually essentially what you might call maybe a toolbox or a storage box. But it's got the same backwards or, or, or angled off deflectors. And this lid right here, this box actually opens up and that's where you're gonna have your propane storage. You have two LP tanks in there. And then you also have a bracket for two five gallon jerry cans or two five gallon water cans, whatever you'd like to carry. But again, this is going to be the rock guard to help protect the rest of the unit while carrying much needed supplies that you may need, like I said, with propane and your gas. So as we come back up and we come back here to the front, we notice a couple different things. Now, usually we got our usual stuff. We have our articulating hitch as always. Uh, you can see more of that on our video on our library. Um, we have a mechanical brake here. All of our units have a mechanical brake. And then obviously we still have, like all units, we have our seven pin connector that goes to the vehicle. And then we also have our 50 amp Anderson plug. So if you wish to, uh, well in this case, it's going to be to plug in your solar panels. This is where you would plug in your solar panel. So again, the solar panels are 60 watts a piece. It's a briefcase style. So 60, 60, so you're looking at 120 watts to charge the two batteries that are within your patron unit, okay? Now, as you look up a little bit higher, there is a strap here. You see this strap with a very large hook attached to this loop right here. And this is attached to the lid. And so this is to assist, to help you with opening up this very large lid. Um, you know, if you're maybe height challenged, you can't push it all the way over. It is recommended that you do use the strap with the hook to bring it all the way over so that way you can do it safely and securely. Now, one of the things that we do also is we like to leave this attached. That way, if you get into maybe some really strong gusty winds, you don't have the chance of it lifting up because it's being secured with the, the hook with the strap. So here on the front, like all of our units, is our jockey wheel. So again, make sure that you're looking, you have that line of demarcation down there. You're not leaving it extended and rolling it in long distances. Again, you can find out more information about our jockey wheel on our official YouTube page. So here as we come around to what would be the driver's side of your vehicle, which is also the entry side of your patron, we have our front compartment. It's got a vent cover to it, as well as a vent fan. You can actually see the fan is running right now. It's got a vent fan to it. This is our largest compartment that's here. Now, this compartment will accommodate a very large, almost two foot wide, almost uh, about 24 inches uh, wide. And then lengthwise, it's 39 inches long. So you can fit a rather large cabinet there. Now, even height wise, you're looking from the base of the drawer up to the top here, you're looking at 20 inches. So you have a lot of space to fit in here. Like I said, a very large cooler um, or a dual zone fridge freezer, because the nice part is, and if you can look right back in here, here's a 12 volt plug. So if you have one of those 12 volt fridge freezers, you can plug it into this compartment here. And there's a switch to turn this on and off. And I'll show you that later on the other side. Now, some other items that are here in the unit, we actually have a unit cover. So this is used to cover the unit. And then in this box right here is the solar panel, that briefcase style solar panel I was talking about. 60, 60 watts, 120 watts total. Uh, actually, if you look at uh, on our channel, I actually did a walkthrough of the uh, solar panels and the inverters. This is that solar panel that's in that video. So be sure to check that one out. Uh, also here, we also have our hitch that goes along with our articulating uh, connection or articulating hitch. This is our Y. So this would replace where the ball would be. So this would be where the ball would essentially be if you had a, a typical standard unit. This would attach to your vehicle here, and then you have your pin uh, with your cotter pin, your spring, and your washer to keep from burying it into the metal. This allows you your sideways pivot. The block is gonna give you your up and down, and then the knuckle is gonna give you that 360. So we have our Y connector. 
We also have a tire repair kit. This is a tire repair kit. We also have spare uh, bearings put in here as caps, extinguishers, and a 12 volt portable shower, okay? Now, where are you gonna plug in the portable shower? Well, there's that 12 volt plug that's over here I just pointed out. Because when you set up the annex on this unit, over in this area right here is gonna where, be where the privacy room is. So that's where you would have your portable toilet, which we have, I'll show you that in a bit. And we also have our, you can use it as a changing room or as your portable shower. Now, after the large compartment, we have our next compartment. Now, the next compartment has a couple different things. One, it's got a solid shelf. And here on the solid shelf, I'm gonna pull this out here, is where we have our bag that has all of our poles. So the support poles that we use to put, uh, to stretch out the tent, and then the poles to build our annex um, and our awning are all in here, okay? So if you're not sure about the awning or the annex, or you wanna see how that sits, go to our library and you'll find the awning and the annex setup. Now I do do it with a classic double, but the setup is all the same. It's just a little bit on a larger scale, but that's what we have. Also here inside, if you can come on in here and you look on the inside of the door here, the door is gonna give you the pole guide. Now the black poles, I'm gonna point out right here, the black poles indicate the poles that are inside the unit. The red poles indicate what you need to build to put up your awning and your annex. Okay, the annex is gonna be enclosing it with the walls and the flooring. And these red ones right here, these are gonna to be to put out your windows. So when I get to the windows in the back or the front that we have open, I'll show you what I'm talking about, where the poles are and what we're using for that. Now, also in this compartment, we have a slide out drawer. Now the slide out drawer is gonna come out and you can see it's a, it's a pretty decent length drawer, you know, maybe about 39 inches or so as well. And so, uh, you know, not quite as wide, maybe about a foot wide or so. Now we have another drawer, the exact same size that pulls out on the other side as well. Um, you can use this as maybe your, your storage drawer for your food, for, you know, maybe you put, uh, you know, some of your spices or whatever, since your kitchen's right here, which we'll get to the kitchen in a second. But you can use it obviously as whatever storage you would like. And then in this case, we've also put our pins, our locking pins, because when you have everything closed up, use these to lock it. You can also put a regular lock on it if you'd like to secure it. So as we move along, you can see here, we also have our door. Um, so this is our door opening right here. Now, just to show you how it works, um, you know, I'm gonna show this real quick. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this big door right here. I'm gonna lift up and I'm grabbing this here. And if you notice, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. You don't wanna pinch. Now, I wanna be very careful about closing this up just because I do not want to pinch and break anything because this is in place. You would not normally have this cover in place when you're closing this, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. So this would close up right here, and this would be your two door locks right here. So when you get to where you're going and you open this up, this comes out. I will grab here, grab one of the steps, and set it so that way it's nice and level. So as we come continue on from the door, we have a spotlight, a little light that you can turn on. There's a, a panel just inside the door. And so that kind of is a little light area for your kitchen. So here at the back of the patron, we have our slide out kitchen like we have on our units. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick right here before I pull out the kitchen. You can see there's a 12 volt hookup. There's a couple other hookups for the light and also for the electrical switch, electrical starter on the uh, uh, your stove. And so this right here is also your water connection. So this unit, the patron, actually carries 35 gallons of water. So you would tap into this and that's how you're gonna get your water to your kitchen. So to release the kitchen, I'm gonna push this little lever here, release it, pull it out. Now while I'm pulling it out, there's also a prep table here on the back, just an extra little table. There's also the very large prep table up on top. I'm gonna to open this up. There's a couple little wings here. Those are just support wings, all right? So we have right here at the very end, we have our stove. We have our propane powered stove here. And then we come around, we have our sink, right? A little clean area. And then we also have our faucet. Now, as you notice, this also tilts up and down. Now you wanna make sure when you're using it, you have it in the up position, but when you go to close the kitchen, 
as you can see, this will hit right here and damage this. So you wanna make sure you could put it down so you don't cause damage. And then there's also the light. So this light and then the starter for the propane stove is where those two small plugs are gonna be. This also utilizes what's called a gravity drain. So there's a hose that comes out underneath, underneath the drain. The hose is gonna come down. You drop like say maybe like a five gallon Home Depot bucket. That way it catches your gray water and then you can disperse of your gray water as necessary and correctly. And then for the gas, the gas line will actually come out the backside. And if you look right here, you can see the gas line connection. And so the propane that's in that front storage compartment is plumbed into this connection right here. So that's how everything is going to be functioning and working. When you're done with your kitchen, you disconnect everything and then run it back in. So here at the back of the patron is what's gonna kind of make the difference between a dominator and a patron. A dominator is gonna stop right here at, the, at this back. Now the patron extends another couple feet, about three feet or so. And so that's where the difference is. So that's why with say a dominator, you can sleep four, but with your patron, you can sleep five. And actually maybe even more depending on I mean, how small your kids are or what you have. But again, you can make work. Now, one of the things that we do to allow us to have this essentially like a, a pullout drawer, and I'll kind of lift this up here, undo a couple snaps so you can kind of see, all right? So here's the track that slides. But the spare tires are on their left, they actually lower down. There's a couple hydraulic arms here to help with lowering it down so it's not super heavy for you. But this is where we're gonna be doing that. So that way that gives us our extension off of the back. Now, another thing that you might not be able to see, we'll get you this in there, but underneath we also have recovery hooks. So that way, if there's any kind of issue and you need to be pulled from somewhere, they have recovery hooks. So that way you can attach the recovery hooks and not attach to a frame or something that you shouldn't be attaching to causing damage. And here we are, as long as we're underneath, I wanna take this opportunity to point out what sets us apart from everybody else. The heavy duty, independent swing arm suspension. We got dual shocks for each swing arm. We have heavy duty coil springs, a limiting chain, and those are all connected with a light truck, off-road tire, 265, 75, 16 tires. And we also have our 35 gallon stainless steel water tank. 35 gallons, a lot of water for a tent camper. And then we're also gonna have, as you can see, we're gonna have the uh, large filler tube there on the side, along with the hose that's gonna be feeding the water up to uh, the pump that goes to the sink. And then we also have the spigot there, and that's gonna be so you can drain your tank or whatever else you need to do with your water. And that's what we have underneath every Black Series camper. So here I am at the, the backside, essentially. Obviously, we're on the opposite end from the tongue. So here we are at the backside, and I mentioned this earlier on our pole mapping for assembling things. And I made mention of the poles and assembling for the awnings for the windows. Most all of the windows from the sides to the backside, not so much on the front side, but on the sides to the back sides or the ends, they have an awning to help protect you. So if you have like a light rain, you can leave your windows open and this will obviously protect you from the rain and, and whatnot. Um, it also helps to protect you from the sun. Um, this creates a lot of shade inside, not allowing the sun to come down. So this is the assembly for of the poles for the window, okay? And it's got little, little side flaps here that kind of zip in and zip out and all that kind of fun stuff. So as we come around, we're gonna go around and check out the other side. So here I am at the back on the other side, which would be the passenger side of your vehicle. And the first thing we're off the bat, we have another ratchet with a large clamp and the strap. Now this one, this part has a handle that actually comes off, it's in this compartment here. And so this one is also designed for when you are deploying or opening up the lid. So this one would attach to a loop that's on the side of the lid. And so you could actually feed out a bunch of strap allow it to guide it down so that way the lid doesn't come down hard, which it doesn't come down that hard. But that way, again, you're doing it safely by having it hooked in so you can do it with two people. Now, when it goes to closing the whole unit back up, that's when this, this ratchet comes into play because then you're gonna use the ratchet to close the unit back over this way. And that's this unit. When it's not in play, 
you take this handle off and you put it in this compartment. Now, as long as I'm in this compartment, what I'll also point out to you is your battery charger. Now there is a 20 amp battery charger in here. And so it, it will charge your batteries, but it is, it is a 20 amp trickle charger. So it does take a, a, a bit of time to charge your batteries. It's not gonna be a rapid charge. So that is one thing. So you would just bring your, your cord over to here. Here's a plug, you just plug in a three prong plug, a three prong plug. You plug it in and that's gonna allow you to charge the two batteries that are in your unit. So as we come off of this rear compartment, we see this very large rack or cage. And so this is actually your gear rack. So when you are in transport, this rack will be folded over the top of your patron or your dominator or even your classic double, depending on which one you have. And this is gonna be secured down. Now this will take, this will hold 100 kilograms of distributed weight and that comes out to about 220 pounds, okay? So you wanna be very careful, make sure you distribute your weight, um, don't put it all in one area, move it around. Uh, but again, about 220 pounds is what you're allowed on the top of this. When you're all done, when you're ready to uh, put it back into the transport mode, there's a couple of releases here, you gotta just push this forward, this kind of locks into a little footing right there. You push these forward and it comes down, locks right in place. But the shock assist, there's dual shocks on each of the uh, brackets that really helps it, makes it easy to support this. It's not real hard to push this or do what you have to do with it. So one of the things I wanna point out too, kind of behind this cage here, is right here by the wheel well, and now it does say city water connection. Um, it does not truly connect to city water, but that is actually your tank fill. And as I mentioned earlier, the patron has a 35 gallon water tank. So that would be your tank fill area. So as we come a little bit farther forward, we come over the wheel well to the other side, then we're gonna get into our control panel. And we have a bunch of switches here. So the first one says fridge. Next one is plug, pump. I'm not gonna turn that one on. Light and instrument panel. So as I flip on the instrument panel, you can see we obviously have our lights. And so we have our, our readout, it says where our battery is, it says our amps, our voltage. Um, how much water's in there. And so the fridge, that switch is going to be your plug in that first compartment I showed you where you could put that refrigerator, where you would hook in your shower. The plug, that would be plugs that are inside of the unit. Uh, so there's a couple of USB plugs and stuff like that. We'll see that when we get inside to our interior. Our pump, obviously that's going to be your water pump. Your light, so the lights that are inside, there's a couple of LED lights so that way you can see what's going on inside as well as that floodlight I showed you outside, that switch controls that. And then the instrument panel. So you don't have to have this instrument panel on, you can turn it off. So that way you're not creating a draw of, from your battery just for an instrument panel. And then you have a couple of 12 volt plugs here as well as a couple of fuses, 50 amp fuses. One's for uh, the towing vehicle and the other one is actually for the instrument panel so you're not shorting anything out. So here is the back compartment. This is the other side of the back compartment. So again, here is our bag of holes right here on our tray. And then, like I said, there's another pullout drawer on this side. That's the exact same size as the pullout drawer that was on the other side in the secondary cabinet. So again, you have two pullout drawers, the exact same size like this. To push it in, you just push that lever and it goes. And then the next compartment is still a large compartment. It's got a filter on it, okay, because this compartment is connected with the other side vent-wise. This is, you have the same size dimensions in, in like this, but when it comes to your drawer, the drawer is obviously a much smaller drawer. Um, here we have our portable toilet in here. Um, so again, you're not gonna be fitting a large cooler in here, but again, you can use this as your storage for your portable toilet that comes with the unit. Um, here's another couple things that come with it. This is also another portable LED light. Now this LED light comes equipped with a 12 volt plug. And so again, there's other 12 volt plugs, uh, like with the control or the, uh, yeah, the uh, control panel, there's a 12 volt plug and there's 12 volt plugs inside as well. So if you need lighting somewhere else, you have some emergency lighting. This is a, uh, a tire or air bleed down kit for your tires. We got a couple clamps on here, bleed down kit. And this is the box. Well, this is the box for it, so that's all this is. 
but so there's a few other items that come with this drawer. So you, again, you have that you have that same height, that same width, not quite the depth, um, but you still you can still put some some large items in here as needed. So there, I think that pretty much covers everything out here on the exterior of our patron. So now we're gonna go around and we're gonna go inside. So here we are at the door again of our patron. And so one of the things I wanted to start off showing you is the switches. So right here inside the door, there's three switches. So this first switch here turns on this floodlight. So like your entry light. And if you also look over here, I talked about this outside light. So that's also gonna be kind of like your entry light or again, your work light for your kitchen right here. Okay, so it's gonna turn on that light. The next switch is gonna turn on now you can't see it, it's gonna be an LED on the, the bed to, you, to the left, and the other switch is gonna turn on the LED for the other side. So there you have your lighting on both sides for the beds. Now, again, one of the things I mentioned was the plugs um, for the control panel, it said plugs. Now, if you look right in, you see straight ahead two 12 volt plugs. One's gonna be a dual USB plug, and the other one is gonna be a 12 volt plug. Now, one of the other things here in the door, now usually there is a roll down, there's a, a screen, and there's also a roll down door. Right now they're rolled up, so we can kind of see, but you would have a door. So, I'm gonna release the door. The door comes across and would pin in place, and so that way you do have some level of a door. So that way you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, maybe you got a, a dog, you try to keep the dog in here, or you know, a small kid or whatever. Um, but don't let that give you a false sense of security. Make sure you're always watching your kids. You don't want anyone to get hurt. But here you have a door, so you can kind of close this off. All to release, you push the pin, that releases it, pushes up out of the way, and lock that back in place. And I got one other thing I want to show you before we go inside. All right, so here is one of my favorite features on our Dominators, our Patrons, and our Classic Doubles, is this panel right here. Now, as, as you look at it, it's just an ordinary panel. It's got, you know, a Velcroed window flap to it. It's got a screen, all very cool, all very dandy. Here's the part I love about these units, is we can open up this entire side right here, and that really changes your whole camping experience. So these normally are held and buttoned in place, so I'm just gonna undo the buttons here, okay? So as I get these undone, I got a zipper I gotta come over and undo. I come over here and I undo the zipper and the Velcro all the way up. And then what happens is you take this, you fold this over, and then I usually will try to flip fold it so that way we can kinda save the amount of roll time. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna start rolling it right here. I'm gonna roll it up, 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 up and then I'm gonna latch it in place and we'll show you just how big this whole wide open area is. All right, so I'm gonna hook up this last little clip here. I got the strap, nice long straps on here with the clips. You're just gonna do a crisscross of your T-bone there. And there we have it up. So now I've rolled up the entire door. So now I'm gonna sit back here and hopefully you can still get me. As we look at this, we have this massive area that just opens up whatever you're viewing. If you're, you're at the river, you're out in the middle of the desert, you're out in Utah, or you're out in Colorado, or wherever you are, you can just kick back and look at this beautiful picture window of a side while you're out there camping, experiencing nature way off in the areas where nobody else can go. That is one of my favorite features of this unit. So here I am obviously inside the patron. And so we're along the back wall, the back cover, the back couch area. And so I wanna show you a couple of the amenities that are here within the unit. Now, one of the first things I wanna show you is there is a pullout drawer. Uh, it's got some instructions up there, but there's a pullout drawer. Now, the nice part is you also can see the pullout drawer from here. This pad lifts up and you can actually see the back of the control panel that we talked about earlier. And this one also lifts up. Let me pull this up here. So it's a, a different compartment. And so it's separate. Let me put this one down here. And so you can see here are your two batteries and there's a nice secure bar to hold them in place as well as your thousand watt um, inverter, your power inverter, okay? So there's even a plug you can plug into this directly on this end over here, okay? 
and you can see where your water hose connections are. That's your water fill hose, your water pump, or your water hose that goes to your kitchen. Uh, but this is gonna be your powered area. And then again, here's your 12 volt plug and then your uh, USB plug, your dual USB plug there as well. This is the pad. This pad is actually makes up the base for this. And then there's two smaller pads that make up the backing for this area of the couch. So now on the entry side, we have another small little couch area. And again, I'm just gonna take off the backing cover and then we have the base one as well. You know, I'll just put this over here out of the way. I'll push it up out of the way. And so there's another small compartment here. So in this compartment, uh, there's a couple of flaps and this uses a couple little triangular patches. And this actually goes to cover up the poles your angular poles as you're setting up. And then the base in here, you also see a bag. Now in this bag is your guidelines, okay? There's some rope and there's some other plastic pieces and things in here. Um, when you are setting up, just a quick little note here, when you are setting up your awning, um, it uses a pin, a straight pin that comes out through the tent. And so what you wanna do, let me get one of these here, and I'm just gonna point this out real quick. You wanna use one of the covers, one of the caps. And so you can see this little cap, okay? It's got like a, a nipple to it, kinda. And so the pole that comes out, this slides over the top of it. So that way, if it's raining, you have inclement weather, the water doesn't go down the pole and into the tent. The water would come down the pole, hit this plastic cap and roll off. So that way you're not, again, having water coming into your annex, which would be a bad thing. So, but this is your rope bag. You can see your guidelines. So that way you can tie off like where you have your windows pulled out with the uh, the awnings, you can use your guidelines to hold it down, hold it secure. So if you do have a windy area, they're not flopping up or blowing away or whatever things that can be going on. And that's usually here in this compartment or whatever compartment you want to put it in. So we'll put that back down, we'll put this pad down, and we're just gonna put this in place. And then the last one, the last one we're gonna look at is this back one. Now there is no storage in this back one because this back one is actually the sliding drawer that comes back into the unit and fills this space. But as you can see here, this creates a couch. So you have a couch area with no storage. And if you notice, I'm gonna fold this in half here. If you notice the pads, one pad is taller than the other. They are connected and one pad is taller than the other. Now there is, if you can see, there's a lip that's right here. You can kind of see there's a lip. This is the rod that locks the, the, the box in place. And so when this pad comes down, the pad actually goes under the lip here. And so again, that's creating your couch. So if you wish, if you don't need to set up um, an extra bed, if you look back here, here is a bed. You can sleep two people there, like two kids. Uh, maybe even a couple of adults, depending on how tall they are and whatnot. Um, but you can sleep two people back there. Now, again, like I said, the patron will sleep five people. And I'll show you how we can create a bed for five people um, or even create a secondary queen bed. So that way you can, it would be sleeping four people, but it'd be two large beds that people would be sleeping on. So I'm going to show you how to make this into a larger bed or a queen size bed. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta remove this pad, okay? I'm just gonna kinda throw it back here out of the way. And so this actually folds down. So when this comes forward, this actually folds down into here and fits underneath behind this lip. So then this pad comes back into play. And this, oops, I got the small pads on the side and the way. Let me get the small pad out of the way over here. So again, there is a small pad. This is a small elbow pad that fits right here, fills in that space. And there's one on this side as well. So you put this in. And so now you have a queen size bed. So you have the queen size bed on this side, which is already, that's part of the lid. And then you have this queen size bed. So you can do one of a couple of things. You can either sleep a couple of adults this way, or if you have several kids, you can sleep several kids this way. Now, here's the fun part, and I'll show you, this kind of ties into making a large, or making a bed so that way five people can sleep. But if you want like a massive bed, we're gonna have to get incorporate our table. And this one thing I haven't had in here yet is our table. So let's get our table, and we'll show you what we can do. So here we are in the lounge in our dining area of 
our patron camper. So as you see, I have a nice adjustable table here. So right now it's, it's a pretty decent height. I can leave it where it is, or if I want to, I can raise it up. There's adjustable legs. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit here. But it's nice because you have some nice seating area. You have, you know, a couple people, you know, like one, maybe two adults, might be a little tight. A couple of kids there. You got a couple of people here, a couple of people here. So you have a nice little area where you can gather, you can hang out, eat your meals, maybe play a card game, maybe a game of Uno or whatever you guys like to do while you're out camping. But it's a nice little hangout area. So, and again, you can see the configuration for the table. I have it in this direction. So when we use it to convert to a bed, we're going to flip it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. So now that I have the table up here and you can kind of see the underworkings of it, we have, like I mentioned, we have our adjustable legs. And so it's just a nice little wing nut right here. And then what you, when you, when you loosen it, raises up, raises down. Uh, you know, you put it wherever you need it to be. I'm going to tighten this up so we don't throw it off anywhere. And then we have the adjustments to fold this. So when we fold this, we're going to put it on the lips. And I'll show you right here. There's a, a lip along here and a lip here and a lip right here behind me. And that's gonna be a crossway this way, so that way we're gonna make a bed. So that way when you have it in use, you're actually gonna have the table this way. Now, since I already have it facing this way, I'm gonna show you the way to figure out, no, the way the legs fold is to get them the flattest, is you look at a gap right here. There's a gap right here. You can see how this leg is raised up, and I'll flip this around so you can see the other side here. The other side does not have a gap. So when this one closes, it's gonna fold the flattest. And this side is gonna be elevated a little bit, so it'll fold on top of it. So you very gently just kind of push. That's gonna come flat. You push again here. And now, like I said, you can see it folds, you know, fairly flat, obviously. But this is the position you wanna have it in. Now, to put it in bed configuration, what I'm gonna do is, just for ease, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this mat out of the way so you can see where I'm putting it on the, the lip here. So I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. So hopefully you can all see. So as I take the table, I'm gonna put it on the first lip on this side, underneath the pad. Keep your fingers out of the way, set it on there. Then you shove it back. So now, like I said, now it's securely on this lip, this lip, and this lip. So you have a nice, secure positioning to create a bed. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pads and actually I'm gonna take this pad, the shorter ones, and this pad, and this will fold in here. So now what I've done, let me push that up. I've created about a twin size bed in this location. So again, that's where you come in with the sleeping five people in the patron. You have two people that will be sleeping in the queen bed, which we'll get to. This creates a queen bed. So you go from this pad up, that's a queen size bed, roughly queen size bed. And then you would have this as a twin bed, okay? Now you can have other configurations with the couch. And so I'm gonna show you the couch. And so you can even just leave it so where you're not using the table area because the pad in the back back there, the pad back there makes about a full size bed. So you could have two people there, you could have the couch in its positioning, and then you could have this set up as a, as a twin bed, or you even have this massive bed. It drops down a little bit, but you have this whole massive bed if you wish to use that as well. So here we are on the other side of our camper. And so as you can see, this is the queen bed. This is the big bed. We have a nice thick pad here. Um, we have some straps holding the pad down because this is the lid that flips over. So we have the straps here to help hold the pad in place and maybe you're bedding. Maybe you put a sleeping bag up here or whatever you put up here bedding wise, we can also use the straps to help hold it in place. We have our adjustment bars to help push everything out. And we also have our LED lighting at the back of the unit with a switch. So that way you can control your lighting from while you're there laying in bed. Another nice feature we have is we have this privacy screen. So this privacy screen rolls down and you can see it zips and goes all the way around over here to the other side so that we have some privacy. You know, if you're here with family, friends or kids, whatever, you know, maybe you can use this as a changing area or something or just so you have your own privacy. So that's one of the really nice features that is coming in from this area of our camper. And it's a nice solid area because again, 
you're on top of you know your wheels as well as your jockey wheels so it's nice and secure you're not gonna be tilting anywhere like you might do in other tent trailers so again this is black series patron tent camper this is what's going to help you get out there you're going to be reimagining your destination with black series and this unit this patron and so please be sure to make sure you check out all the different items that we carry with black series and make sure you check out our video library so you can see all of the different videos all of our different walkthroughs and all the different products we have again this is jim buck with black series campers in southern california out of the city of industry saying take care everybody we'll see you out there how you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Series Campers of Southern California out of the city of industry. And we hope that you enjoyed the last video of a series that we just got finished watching. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to ask to make sure that you please like and subscribe to our channel so that way you can see all of the videos that are coming up in our series. So make sure that you get out there, you smash that bell up in that corner up there. And again, this is Jim Buck with Black Series Camper. So we hope you enjoyed that video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.